Hi guys. So here I am in Rockford, Illinois, and I'm going to be telling you this story. Uh, last night was supremely frustrating. This is not a very vegan friendly spot. And how do you survive as a vegan when there are basically no vegan options? I was desperately excited to go to um, Pig, Pig Mines. And then we found out the kitchen closed at 10 and we were on our way there a little after 10. And now I'm heading out with the soccer team and unable to go. We just don't have the time because they opened at noon. <sighs> so I'm sad, but heading off to Chipotle for a sofritas. I can always count on Chipotle, but um, we're going to get into this horrible story of <laughs> my crazy night trying to find food to eat. And honestly, if you are not strong-willed ethically as a vegan, then you probably would have caved. But um, no regrets at all. I mean, it is what it is. I'm vegan. I'm happy to be vegan. And I deal with the challenges as they come. So I'll tell you the story in a moment. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> all right, so back to my story about Rockford. Like, I seriously think it is the most unvegan city in the States. Okay, maybe not. Maybe that's an exaggeration. But I literally had the worst night ever. Uh, I was trying to get to pigs and pigs, pigs minds. I was so excited. They have the impossible burger. It's a vegan spot rated reviews, like one of the best vegan places in the country by people who are from Portland and other places. And I was excited, but it was like 10 something. And I left finally after doing all this stuff for the soccer and I'm on my way there and I decided to call them. And then they said, Oh, we closed the kitchen at 10. And I was... Okay, guys, let me just move out of the way here. I was... Okay, I was so upset. Like, I was literally so upset. There was no place to get something vegan. I called around a few burrito places, but I think they're more the authentic Mexican burrito places, not the kind where you can just, like, get some veggie soy. Nothing. Oh, no, no, we just have, like, veggies, but it was didn't sound appealing like you couldn't and I know why because my daughter got a burrito at one of those places and I think it's kind of like pre not pre-made but like they put a few things on there it's not the kind where you go and you just choose like your smorgasbord of oh I'll have beans and rice and avocado and yada yada there was nothing to eat chipotle had closed at 10 I was starving um like I, there was a taco bell somewhere and at least earlier that day when I was also looking for something vegan that was close by because I was in the mall, the only thing I could eat was the Taco Bell um, al fresco. I think I got the potato taco and I got the, I forget, there was potato and then beans. And I really love the potato one because, you know, I'm a potato girl. Anyway, so it was night and the Taco Bell wasn't that close, but I drove all the way to the burrito place for my daughter. I got her a burrito and then I remembered Walmart thank God. So, um, I went to Walmart and I got myself a, oh, I think I've, I've got, I've got it to do like a review possibly, but like a frozen dinner an Amy's dinner or something like that. I got back to the hotel. I heated that up. So thank God for Walmart. I mean, if not a frozen dinner, I could have had like fruits or veggies or something. It's just that I couldn't cook. Um, and I just couldn't, could not believe, like, I can't get the fries at McDonald's. They are made with milk, so those aren't vegan. And the pizza place, oh, this really annoyed me. I found one pizza place, and they offered a, a soy-based cheese, and I was like, excellent. Um, but they didn't want to deliver to the hotel. And then I said, well, you know, I'm ordering for a soccer group. And then they're like, oh, oh, really? Well, like, how many pizzas would you want? But I wasn't sure at the time, so I just said, you know, I'm going to have to call you back. So it's like they weren't willing to come out and get me my vegan pizza for one pizza. But they were, I guess, willing to come if it was for more. But then in the end, I just said to those guys, I was going to go to uh, Pig's Mine. And I was so excited. But I'd gone shopping with my mom. And then I, like, honestly, to find out that Pig's Mine was closed was the most devastating moment of the trip. And then to realize I could not find anything to eat unless I went back to like a Taco Bell, but Chipotle was closed, like everything was closed. So at least I didn't starve, but it was a horrible night. The next day before we left, like the, the team ordered subs from I think Firehouse Subs, and I decided with my daughter, we went to um, Chipotle. We just didn't have time to go to Pig's Mine. Like I wish, because by the time it was opening at noon and we were trying to leave out of, the, out of there by one with the soccer academy. So 
Guys, my trip to Rockford really sucked when it came to vegan food. Like, it was really awful. Um, and it just reminds me how much we need to have some other vegan options out there for people. So, like, if IHOP brings out a vegan waffle, or I think there was a Denny's, but I don't know if it was clo closed or open. But, you know, there's so few things for, in certain places. And I, I just wasn't close enough to Chicago because I would have loved to go into Chicago to get stuff. But my mind and heart was set on pig's mind and getting possibly the impossible burger and that was shattered i don't know guys where do you live in is your city the most unvegan friendly city in america or north america because i'm going to tell you rockford really was up there but that's all for now guys and thanks for watching i'm going to go eat my vegan burrito it's cinco de mayo it was veg fest today and i'm back and thanks for watching <laughs> see you guys in the next video